We are going to do a basic JavaScript video on a, what is a callback. Um, in JavaScript, a callback is simply a function that calls back or invokes another function after having finished uh, running. So um, this is useful, you know, if you want to sort of have an assembly line of functions and you want them to keep running um, sort of some, not simultaneously, but um, um, I guess one after the other and uh, linearly. So that's what it's useful for. And um, it can be kind of tricky in JavaScript to sort of get good examples of it or why you would use it. But let's see if we can clear it up. So the first thing that you'll notice is just basic HTML template using Sublime Text. I included the source code for the jQuery CDN which is Content Delivery Network. You can either host it locally or you can um, also just grab the CDN as well as I have Bootstrap just for any styling that we might do if we want to output some HTML to the page. Uh, we, might, we might do that just to make it a little bit easier to read if we, we, if we don't want to look at the dev tools and look at the console. So once you have both of those two things, I think the most important thing is to check if our jQuery that we're hosting is in fact being picked up and served. So to do that, we need to write a function that says when the document is ready, which means when this web page, this HTML file is loaded, give it a function and have this function pretty much immediately be invoked. And when it's invoked, when the web page is loaded, we just want to test jQuery is loaded. Okay. Um, so let's, let's check that out real quick. Open in our browser, right click. And uh, if we're in Chrome, click Inspect. We go into our console. We should, we should see jQuery is loaded. And if we refresh again, we, sh we should see J sorry about that. We should see jQuery has loaded. Um, but you'll notice again if we do not have this in here, I'm just gonna take it out like that. If we do not have it in here, we will get an error, uncaught reference error, which means this look, this universal selector is not defined. Why? because that is native to jQuery, and we need jQuery in there so that it works. There we go, jQuery has loaded. So, once we've done that, and we have our document loaded, then we want to write our simple callback. So, let's make a function called function testing callbacks, and we're gonna give it a number. It's gonna take two parameters, a number and a callback. You can call this whatever you want. You can call this params too whatever you want. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to call it callback. So after we've given it that, what are we going to do? First, let's console.log number. You have passed the number plus number, just to make sure we're given the number. And let's test that out real quick. Let's do, um, let's do testing callbacks and let's just give it a five. Let's see what we get right there. You have passed the number five. Okay, so our first parameter is working. Um, the next parameter we want to give it is the callback, which is just another function that's going to be returned after this function has finished. So um, let's do this. So after we've done that, let's do let's call our second function of callback, and we want to pass this a number. We want to have it do something with the number, and then after that is finished, after that callback has run. After it's invoked the function, let's just say, it, um, let's see, yeah, after that's run, let's just say callback has finished running. Okay, cool. So now let's pass it a se second parameter, which is the callback. This refers to that, that callback, a function. What do we want to do with this function? Well, when it runs, we want to console.log the number you picked was plus number. So in order to get it to pick up this number that we've inserted here, we've got to pass it a parameter of number. This can be anything you want. This can be num. I'll just make it num so you can sort of see that it doesn't matter. The number you picked was num. Okay. We want a console.log in callback. And then after we've done that, um, let's see. Let's see. So we have that in the callback. Um, let's see, maybe we'll put this second 
callback in callback the number you picked was none and uh, console.log leaving callback now um, and just maybe just to sort of output something um, let's do this let's do let's do um, we'll, we'll create a uh, an ID with callback and we'll pass it some HTML we'll just pass it uh, starting callback and after this is done we will pass it um, callback dot HTML leaving or ending callback just so we can see it live as well um, so we have that testing callbacks console.log okay and now in our body we just need to create a div with an a div with an ID of um, callback so that's where the HTML is going to be um, put and let's check it out let's see what we get ending callback right so you're not you're only gonna see ending you're not gonna see the start because it's happening too fast but so you can see if we do it again jQuery is loaded, you have passed the number 5, we are saying in callback, okay, the number you picked was 5, leaving callback now, callback has finished running. So, let's see if we can get this to run. Let's do, uh, hmm. let's see, um, start callback, callback, um, We'll just do it like this. We'll just do callback one, so just to make it easier. Div callback two, and then callback two, callback one, and now you can see starting callback, ending callback. And uh, just to clean this up a little bit with our bootstrap, let's give it a div of container, a div row, div call, and d12. Just to make it a little bit better, and put our two div IDs in there. And let's clean that up a little bit more. Okay, that should be good now. Starting callback, ending callback. Okay, and uh, yeah, there you go. You can sort of see it all happening right there. And um, yeah, so basically what's happening, to sort of sum it up, we are uh, logging when jQuery is loading. We're creating a function called testing callbacks, which takes in a number and a callback. The number is um, global to the scope, which means we can use it anywhere in this function. So then what we're doing, we're taking this jQuery function of .html, which says take the HTML in this ID and give it this parameter. So starting callback, which it does. And then we want to log, you have passed the number, number. And then after we've done that, we want to run our second parameter, which is a function, which is a callback function and we want to give it a number and the number we're giving it is this number that we passed in so we're giving it five okay that's good and then so it's going to run the function the function is going to take in a num which is this number number which is five it's going to say in callback the number you picked was five leaving the callback now and then we're going to append to the html ending callback so in a nutshell that's everything that's going on and to see it one more time we have you've passed number five, the number you picked five, leaving callback. Callback is finished now running. So we can see that this callback runs before the callback is finished running. This will be the last thing that runs because it'll go to this function, run everything, and then when that has ended, then we'll say it's finished running because it's a scripting language and it'll run from top to bottom. So I hope that cleared up the idea of callbacks and uh, yeah, hope it makes some sense. Uh, please subscribe, comment, and uh, feel free to ask me any questions you might have. Thanks.